Hi everybody, it's Kali Star with Earth Matters and Soup Sorceress. I'm so happy that you are watching this video and I really am so excited to share with you some of the things that are in our bundle this week in the large size and what are some of the things that you can do with them if you want to try and I hope it gives you some inspiration for whatever you want to do. So I already saw somebody post on Instagram, what am I going to do with this? And this is a kabocha squash. It's a lot like butternut squash. And I really love the flavor of it even more than butternut squash. I also love the color of it. It's just that it's this dark, rich orange. Very beautiful. I make chocolate soup with this squash. It's really good. And maybe you've tried that with pumpkin before. Anything that you've done with pumpkin, you can do with this. Or butternut squash, you can do with this. I am going to, you can even make a pumpkin pie with this if you want to. What I really love to do is a drinkable chocolate soup. And so I just cook this, you can boil it just like this to make it easy on yourself. And then once you poke through and it's soft and you take it out and let it cool down a little bit, cut it in half, spoon up the seeds. And this is pretty meaty inside. So you're gonna get plenty of the squash and I don't really, I don't use the skin, but if a little skin gets in, don't worry about it. I'm going to then blend this with some nut milk and cacao and then maple syrup and you can also use cinnamon and what would be really amazing that I haven't tried before is anyone who got the herb bags this week there's chocolate mint in there I didn't even realize that when I bought these and then I realized later oh my god that's the perfect combination for this kabocha squash so if you want to try something like that it's really tasty and don't worry too much about how much of what to put in it because you're gonna just go with the amount of squash that you've got and then you know the milk is just about the texture that you want if you want a thinner texture put more in if you want it thicker put less in a um, little dash of cinnamon and maybe, I don't know, a quarter cup of maple syrup would be enough, but taste it and find out. And that's about it. Another soup that would be really great with this, you could try this. And you have a nice savory kabocha squash soup. And I would put a little bit of spice, not too much, or maybe some cumin, something like that. Paprika, anything that you enjoy. And what I would also do is to use the sorrel that goes on top of the soup and it's just like it looks really beautiful sorrel is this wonderful leafy green that's very sour it's just gorgeous and it's one of my favorite things to put on top of soup for decoration and just a little bit of extra flavor and I think the sorrel would go really well with a cabbage salad. I like to just chop this up really thin, julienne it, and then massage it with some oil, salt and pepper. And you keep that in the fridge because it'll keep for a while. It'll still be pretty crunchy. I love to do that with cabbage because it just makes it so easy to add it to things throughout the week. And you have so much of it. There's just so much and it's, it's so highly medicinal. You know, the benefits of cabbage are so wonderful for us. So if you steam it or make it in salad or make sauerkraut, you're getting such incredible benefits for your body. If you want to roast it just for fun, you might not get as much of the benefits of it, but you'll be roasting it. It'll be really tasty. It's fun. It's just, you know, you're cooking oil, hot oil with the cabbage. I don't know about that, but it really does taste very good. And you just put, you just cut it in quarters and you roast it with salt and pepper and oil. Another thing that you can do is a cabbage soup with pe pepper, parsley, tomato, and the carrots. We have rainbow carrots. So cool when we can have rainbow carrots. It's the coolest. For those of you that don't know, this is actually a ripe plum. It's so funny because I've had a lot of people go, is this, is this plum ripe? You know, and I can totally understand that because it's totally green. It's almost like it looks like one of those green apricots and it's just not ripe at all. Which, by the way, I used to eat when I was a kid. I would go out to our tree, we had an apricot tree, and I would pick green apricots and eat them like crazy. I was like a squirrel where, you know, you get a bunch of fruit on your tree and then you think it's going to get ripe and you're going to have all this wonderful stone fruit and then all of a sudden, the next day, all the squirrels ate the entire tree. But I got to those apricots before the squirrels did because they were green. The squirrels get to it just before the fruit is perfect, like the day before. 
that it's gonna be perfect. Then they're all gone. It's so wild. This green plum is one of my favorites because I love the flavor and I love the color. Mmm. And it's golden inside. What I love so much is that I can smell this melon. It feels so good. And then I go, wow, I can also smell this pepper so strong. And I can smell this tomato is so strong. And then the squash, I feel like I just picked it from my garden. It's so strong and so good. And these would be really good together. Yum. So you can cook this up like this, like in a little steam, you know, just chop it up like that. Super easy. And oh my gosh, when I smell this raw, it's like for me, I can just take this whole basket and go out to nature just like this. I would feel so happy. I do feel happy. I'm just happy, crazy happy to have these raw vegetables in front of me. I love them so much. And if I go out in nature like this and just bring my basket, I'm gonna bring a bottle of olive oil with me, but that's it. Salt, okay, salt and olive oil, and that's it. <laughs> That'll be really fun. By the way, everybody, I'm leaving for nature time next weekend and my team is going to handle everything. So I'm sending an email with uh, Sinead's phone number so that if anything arises while I'm gone, please call her. And I'm gonna be out of reception from about Wednesday around, I would say 2 p.m. would be the cutoff. Anything after that, please call Sinead. And if it's something that's not urgent, email me, text me, and I will see it on Tuesday. So I'm really looking forward to being away from all the technology just for a few days. And I'm really looking forward to coming back with a lot more energy and you know different ideas for everybody and just sharing with all of you some more. This is what we did with our cherry tomatoes today. It's so good. It's great because you can do this in a, in a hurry, which is what I did. We were busy packing and I really wanted to make a snack for the team. It has to be the most farm fresh, delicious, wonderful snack. So of course we get Heisey bread from Matias and that's our beautiful sourdough bread that's blue and yellow swirls and it's just tastes so good. And then I made a cherry tomato sauce by just blending cherry tomatoes and olive oil and some salt and pepper and basil. And wow, it is such a great dip, you guys. This is like, basically I made a cherry tomato gazpacho to dip our bread with. So it was kind of more like a thicker sauce. You can make that a little thinner. You can add a little water to it, but I made it nice and thick and it was this great dip for the bread and everybody was so happy with it. So easy, so fast and so much happiness. So it's really fun. Summer is so much fun. It's amazing. You know, this is a really fun season. It smells incredible and just there's so much going on here, so much color and beauty and, um, and it's so great and really, remember to appreciate this moment because summer goes away so quickly and then we get to look forward to suddenly we'll see the Asian pears, the kiwis, the pomegranates and we'll go oh my god already oh I was just in the other season where peaches were my favorite thing and now we're going into the pears and things like that so it's a really wonderful experience to be eating in season because you get to really look forward to the next thing. You start to notice what the produce is like when it's going out of season. It's really natural for it to not taste as good as it is in the middle of the season and even in the beginning of the season. And that is totally just nature, right? So we just are really in touch with that and there's just something really magical and beautiful about that. I'm really wishing you all the most magical week ahead and the best in health and wellness. I really look forward to seeing you when I'm back. Take care, thank you, bye.